Hello and a very warm welcome to Sora of Source classes. Today's tutorial will be on UGC net. The subject that on which we are going to concentrate is economics. We will concentrate a part of this particular exam that is paper number two. We will actually pick random questions from this paper and we'll solve it. So let's start. Here is the question marked as 42. It provides us with some data. It says the number of observation is 100. Arithmetic mean is 180. And the following variance of value of variance is 374. We need to comment on the coefficient of variation. Now, when we talk about coefficient of variation, it is sometimes useful so we'll start with the definition actually. So it's sometimes useful to describe the variability by expressing the standard deviation as a portion or proportion of mean, usually a percentage. Okay, and this is the concept that is captured by coefficient of variation so the formula for it as a percentage is coefficient of variation becomes standard deviation by mean into 100 so therefore variance is equal to we have the value of variance is equal to sd square so sd is equal to under root variance so it becomes under root 3 to 4, the value of which is 18. So let us substitute in this formula. So we have 18, mean is 180, this is 100. So we get the answer as 10%. Moving on to the next question. Now next question is a theoretical question. And it is related to something that has happened in our country very recently. It says which among the following statement are true for the Proposed GST arrangement in India. It says both center and state taxes will be collected at the point of sale. And the other statement says center and state GST will be charged on the manufacturing cost. So we need to say whether both the statement are correct, whether one of them are correct, both are wrong, etc. So first let us see what the GST actually means. So GST is goods and service tax is a comprehensive tax that is actually imposed on manufacture sales. So it is imposed on manufacture, sale and consumption of goods and services and this is done at national level. Now GST is a tax on goods and services which has the value addition at each stage having comprehensive and continuous chain of set of benefits from producer service provider point up to retailer level where only the final consumer should bear the tax. Now through a tax credit mechanism GST collect is collected on value added goods and services at each stage of sale and purchase in the supply chain. Now, in a sense of state and center, so in the GST system, both center, central and state taxes will be collected at the point of sale. And both the component, which is the central and state GST, will be charged 
on the manufacturing cost what is the outcome of this this will actually benefit individuals are as prices are likely to come down lower prices will actually lead to more consumption and this will in turn help the company so this is the basic logic behind the gst now moving on to the options our analysis show it is both center and state taxes that will be collected at the point of sale as well as charge on the manufacturing cost so both one and two are correct so the correct answer to this particular question is option number d with this we wind up today's tutorial i hope it was helpful if yes don't forget to hit the like button do subscribe to our channel share our videos and thank you so much for watching